<laughs> hey everybody, it's me, Karasina Cheetah. <laughs> I forgot what I was naming these. <laughs> Alright, I'm loading Henry dead. Okay. <laughs> Alright. So, uh, I'm back with more Black Mirror. Damn. Okay, past me. I see you. Also, ooh, rain. Uh, I don't know what I was doing before. As though I've heard that melody somewhere before. Because you probably have. I'm gonna go look at... Oh, I like that. Does he have his hood up? I think he has his hood up. That's a really neat, uh... Neat touch. Oh, wait, no. Well, I mean, we can go look at the place where Henry, you know, got deaded. So... According to both Bates and Collier, Henry's body was tangled up in algae when they found him. How could he possibly have drowned in this, though? It, technically, you can drown in like two inches of water, man. Like, it's possible. Considering he was drunk, I mean, I see I how it could have happen. made Henry clean the fountain. How could I have known that something like that would happen? One, you couldn't have. Two, maybe you shouldn't have threatened his job over it? The water is murkier than yesterday. The water is murkier than yesterday. Alright, uh... Let's go this way. Man, I am so hyped to be playing this game again. Like, ridiculously hyped. I'm like, what's gonna happen next? I mean, we've already had two deaths. I'm like, at this point, who's gonna be next? Probably Victoria, or she's gonna survive clear to the end. It's hard to say. Technically, I guess you could count it as three deaths if you count uh, the lady that Samuel here keeps talking about. It's full of rainwater. It will have to be cleaned before it can be used again. Well, I'd assume so. Oh, well, I'll check the bags later. The Black Mirror Castle. Yo. I would... I would just want to sit in this place and relax. I love the sound of rain. You know, as many people do. And, like, just being able to look up and see the rain hitting the glass and... I don't know. I like it. Like a lot. Cans of paint and a tin with brushes lying on it. Only painter stuff. Nothing else. Nothing else. It's in the bin. It's full of dry leaves. Nothing but leaves. Oh, and I forgot, you gotta right-click all this shit, too. Okay. It's locked. It's locked. Do I have anything? I mean, I can bash it open with the black sphere. I'm sure that would go smoothly. Alright, I don't have anything. Cool. It's closed, and probably full of whiskey. Henry hid it here so as not to carry it. Okay, cool. I really don't have any tool. Do I? Can I fucking pry it open with the knife? Maybe. Nope. Damn. Oh, I tried. <laughs> Gardening tools and small tubes with fertilizer. Hmm. I can't see a bill of exchange anywhere. Where could Henry have put it? 
deeds of some plants, maybe beans. There is nothing interesting in the drawer. Are you sh I mean, there's some money. You're already going through a shit. Why not just take money from a dead man? They're empty. Ready for planting in. It's full of clean water. I don't want to water anything. No, oh, that's peasant work. <laughs> Jeez, Samuel. And I know that probably wasn't his intention, but you know what I mean. Okay. Let's see anything else? No. Okay. Actually, let's, let's go upstairs. I love that he has his hood up in the rain. That is such a freaking cool detail. Like, they didn't have to do that. Samuel could just Morris not give a shit. Morris the hay sacks away in time before it started to rain. That's good. Ain't nobody wants some wet hay. Okay, let's go in the stable. Let's see what's going on in there. He's a creepy, hey, Morris. but he works well. He's fixing something. Something tells me I shouldn't trust him too much. Morris, do you have a moment? Sure. Morris, have you boarded up the old well like I asked you to yesterday? Not yet, sir. I'll do it today. It should have been done yesterday. I'm surprised that Henry didn't fall into it. Excuse me, sir? You know well how I meant that. Uh... I want to see it secured today, or you can start looking for a new job. Is that clear? Sure, I'll do it. You needn't shout at me, sir. I have no idea what has gotten into me. Why did I yell at him like that? Samuel! What the fuck, dude? What? Okay, um, let's ask him about Henry after we just yelled at him and threatened his job. I'm sure he'll be so forthcoming to us. What do you think about what has happened to Henry? It was to be expected. He drank way too much. I guess it had to end like this. It sounds like you really don't care that it happened. Well, we didn't exactly like each other, but I wish no ill will to anyone. It was you who found him, right? Yes, I needed something from the back garden, and as I was walking past, I noticed something floating in the fountain. I went closer to have a look, and he was totally tangled up in the weeds. I could see nothing except his coat. Did you notice anything else? No, I panicked, you see. I ran to the castle to get Bates to go have a look with me. I kept thinking I might have been confused and imagined it. But it really was Henry. What happened next? I rode into the village to get the detective. You know the rest. So, Morris found Henry. Hmm. Were you in the stable yesterday? Sure I was. Where else would I have been? The lights were not on. Well, maybe I wasn't. Why are you asking? Oh, I can see where you're coming from. You're thinking that maybe what happened to Henry might not have been an accident and that somebody might have helped him into that pond. 
I may be a drunkard and a sauce box, sir, but I'm no murderer. No one is calling you a murderer, Morris. I was just asking. Boss! All right, fair enough, sir. If madam learns that you are starting to suspect me, I may as well go looking for a new job. There's not much work available in this neighborhood. And besides, who would want to hire a man with one leg that is almost completely lame? I'm not accusing you of anything, Morris. At least not yet. I will go then. All right, sir. Samuel, what the fuck, dude? Oh, maybe you did. No, I'm not accusing you. Bullshit, dude. Making sure I'm not missing nothing. No, okay. Damn. Just Samuel. Like I, apparently this is out of character for you. But why? Why are you doing these things? Why, dude? Alright, uh... I can't leave use... now. I wasn't gonna ask you to leave, but okay. I was gonna use it as a shortcut. Alright. Guess we can't use the shortcut, everybody. I mean, it was only like two screens, but still. Huh. Well, might as well go to the library. Hi, Victoria. Let's go talk to her. I'm sure it'll be alright. What happened to Henry is awful. First William, and now... Henry liked to drink. Other than that, he was a good man. I'm sorry, Victoria. I would like to be alone now. Do you need anything, Samuel? Dr. Herman, the physician. Does he live in Willow Creek? No. Some time ago, he moved into an abandoned house near the old mill. It is quite close on the road to Willow Creek. The only house far and wide. Yes, I remember where that is. Thanks. Please excuse me now, Samuel. Alright, now we know where Dr. Herman is. Let's go see if there's anybody in the library. Why not? More exploration, ma'am. Nope. Alright. I know the globe's been checked out. Might as well look at it again, though. Oh, the, the things are gone out of it. Weird. Huh. That is strange. I have things still open, though, so... That's all right. Oh. Why is there just a book on the ground, by the way? I like I don't I don't mean to be like, oh, why is this thing on that? no, but like why? That's just gonna get stepped on and someone's gonna slip and fall and then it's gonna be bad. And then there'll probably be another death because someone cracked their skull open on a book that shouldn't have been on the floor. Where's Bates? What is Bates doing? For shame, Bates. <laughs> 